Hello everybody and welcome to another shader graph tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at how to create this refractive glass using the new Unity 2019 and that's because the custom node um, API was changed so the old way which was the very first video that I made on this channel does not work anymore. So I'm gonna show you how to make it using shader graph 6.5 and uh, newer versions basically. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button if you want a notification about whenever I post a new video because I don't regularly post them. Uh, the other thing is if you want to support me, you can buy my assets. The links are in the description. So let's just jump into it. So the first thing that we are gonna need is obviously to create a shader uh, shader PBR and let's call it lit glass let's open up this shader first thing that we are going to need is a reflection probe this is going to get the value of the nearest reflection probe and all what we going we're going to do now is to just connect it to the albedo um, let's just create a vector one for the smoothness it's going to be a slider another one for the metallic also a slider and that's gonna be it for now so the view direction is where the camera is looking at right which is what we want to refract based on the geometry of the shape so what we are going to do is we want a view direction node which is going to be in world coordinates we want a normal vector node which is also in world coordinates this is going to connect directly as is and then we want to refract this for some reason they didn't make well they made a reflect node but they didn't make a refract node so what we are going to do is to use this custom node which is in um, into that in uh, Unity 2019, uh, Shader Graph 6.5 or something like that, they introduced this new f uh, custom function. Like you cannot create the old uh, C sharp type of thing. Um, and you have two choices in here. You either use a file, or you can write your like your your function here. And I'm gonna use this one for this tutorial. So our inputs are going to be an index of refraction, IOR, uh, of vector one, which is a float. Um, another one for the view direction, which is going to be vector three, because it's a directional, and normal, which is also going to be a vector three. Oh, oops, vector three. The output is 1, which is a vector 3, which is going to be the refracted um, view uh, vector. Um, I think the name in this case, because it is string, the name does not matter. I'm just going to call it refract anyways, and we are going to directly say out is equals to refract and that's a function declared by HLSL and it's gonna take the view as the first parameter the normal as the second and the index of refraction as the third now if we click back here you will see that it is working Let's just connect this here and the same normal as well here and connect this to the view direction. And 
let's create a parameter value for the index of refraction and it's going to be a slider between minus one and one and let's save that let's go back create a create well that's weird oh create a material and let's just call it this stuff don't mind this one and let's go back to the hierarchy create a new cube bring it here create also a new sphere let's copy this and paste it here and maybe what do we have maybe a capsule right and then let's drop this here and here and here and it is pure black because um, I think it should uh, catch the, the sky but only if it is if this generated is hit which is true now um, however I don't want it only to take the sky I want it to take everything so we are going to create light and reflection probe uh, and let's position it the same as well and that's correct and then you need it to be real time or you need to bake it um, also one thing to notice is that these should not show in um, the reflection probe right so um, you have to put them in like any other layer and then in the reflection probe um, you have to exclude that layer and do this again um, so you have to make sure that you have a good resolution like 500 or something like that and also um, looking at these let's play with this a little bit uh, and you will find that it, it differs well like if you go for minus one everything is going to be flipped for the sphere um, it's gonna look a little bit weird for the cube so maybe the cube needs something like this right uh, and then the sphere is showing this while well, like a, um, a magnifying glass or something like that right so it depends on whatever um, you want it to look like also I forgot to drop in these two and connect them to the metallic and then save go back and then go with the smoothness of full and go with some metallic you can go full metallic which will look like this it's like this black barely um, transparent glass um, or whatever value you want this is mainly it um, you can go back to this tutorial I'm gonna show the, the link in here uh, to see how to apply uh, normal maps uh, for the refraction and also how to create um, unlit version of this 
and also um, how to apply tint and whatnot. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can support me by buying my uh, assets. The link in the description. Um, and have a good one.